we are standing in front of the shrine to St. Tres, a little flower. Uh, the priest, Monsignor Taylor, Canon Taylor, as he's commonly referred to, uh, when he built this grotto, he had a fantastic devotion to St. Tres of Lisieux, the little flower. And so one of the first shrines after the Lourdes Grotto, which the canon erected, was this shrine to the little flower. And it's largely due to his influence that devotion to the little flower, St. Tres of Lisieux, spread uh, throughout Scotland. So we're here today to launch the official prayer that has been composed um, for the visit of the relics of St. Tres to our country, which will begin on the 30th of August and for three weeks, first three weeks in September, the relics of St. Tres will travel throughout Scotland to each diocese. So together we'll now begin by saying the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O little flower of Jesus, we welcome you to Scotland and invite you to teach us your little way, the way of love and childlike trust in God. We thank God for the example of your saintly parents, Lewis and Zelie, who put God at the centre of their family life and we ask your intercession for the strength, unity, peace and holiness of your families. May we put God at the centre of our family life. Saint Tres, you love the priesthood. We ask you to be a special sister to our priests, especially in times of trial. May your generous response to God's call inspire vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life. As one who suffered much in your short life, intercede for all who are sick and who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Dear little flower, you love the mother of God. Ask our mother, the queen of heaven, to turn her eyes of mercy upon us with her healing smile. Patroness of missions, intercede for Scotland. Through your visits to our land, may our nation be showered with your roses. As missionaries of God's love, may we work to change the world through simple acts of kindness. And when our mission on earth is complete, may we enjoy love's fulfillment in heaven. Amen. The prayer reflects different aspects of Tres's uh, personality or spirituality. And so um, we had different groups here, um, family life, Louis and Zelie, Tres's parents, um, and all of our siblings um, were a marvellous example of family life. So we had children of high school age and children of, of primary school age here. Um, we had the, some of the sisters from the three Carmel Foundations in Scotland, Dysart, uh, Dumbarton and Kirkintilloch. Uh, so they were there to represent the Carmelite community. Um, I started the prayer off as, as the, the priest in charge of bringing the relics over to Scotland. And then we had a representative of, 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 of sick people. Um, her name is Mary Teresa. She was named after the little flower, Therese. Um, and I'm sure she wouldn't mind me telling you, she's 91 years of age um, and she's always had a fantastic devotion to the little flower. Um, so she was here to, to say the part of the prayer um, which uh, spoke of, of, of sick people. Um, and we had uh, some members of, of, of the mission, Missio, um, the Missionary Sisters of St. Peter Claver and a young student, Christopher, from Nigeria. And they ended the prayer with that part, which is to do with uh, St. Therese being the patroness of the missions. <laughs> 